Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. <laughs> so today is, of course, shopping day. So we are headed to Aldi this morning. Charles finishing getting cleaned up right now. And I was gonna take a minute just to tell you real quick what's gonna change this month. Because if you guys recall, we were going to do, I think the dog went out. We were gonna do a um, low spend month, not for any reason other than we want to get our uh, fridges, well, our freezers and our pantries empty. And um, we want to be able to restock them, but we want to use up what we have so nothing expires and goes bad and goes to waste. And we also were having water on the bottom of our outside freezer again. So Charles fixed that once before. So once we get that empty, he can fix it again. And we're going to relocate where the freezer is. So there's some reasons for that, but it's also mainly trying to use up what we have before it really all goes bad and we have to waste it. So definitely going to be smaller hauls, but each week I'm going to go on and show you what it looks like in our freezer before um, we go to the store. And that way you can see weekly what is, you know, how it's going down, how it's shrinking, how we're using things up. But I'm also, for this amount of time, I'm gonna show you daily what we are eating. I used to do what we eat in a day videos all the time. I'm gonna do that um, for the rest of this month. And it's probably gonna take us a couple months to get through everything. But I'm gonna share with you guys what we're making. So as we get down to the bottom of, <laughs> of it all, it definitely is gonna be more creative and definitely more from scratch cooking. So I wanted to make sure that we share that with you guys. Um, I think that's about it and I think that brings us to where oh I'm also going to share the menu with you but we are starting something new this week because in a year's time I have quite a few of my children moving out and we want to make sure that they are doing good with cooking now Katie and, and Ash can cook anything Jake is really a good cook too but Brooke and Ronnie have not really had any interest and they're starting to want to be interested so I gave everybody a night there's seven of us cooking and there is seven nights in the week. So everybody has a night of cooking. So I will share the menu with you along with the, the cost of everything as soon as we are back from the store. But now while we're headed to the store, <laughs> I'm gonna go on and show you a look at the fridge and the freezers and the pantries. Nothing's organized, nothing's ready, like special. And it's just a quick look so you can see the next week what it looks like. So here's that real quick.
in the grocery and we got a good size cart going on. Of course, they had all kinds of St. Patrick's Day stuff and Easter stuff. And this was on me. I got probably a little bit too much treats for the kids. <laughs> right? It is what I'm it is. I'm not one to judge. <laughs> you better not be one to judge. It's usually him. But all in all, we still guys spent $125, which is still half or less than half of what we have been spending. So we still are way less. Next week, I'd like to probably, I'm not really putting like a, a price on what I'm gonna spend, but I think we could definitely get it down to 100 if I don't buy all the treats for the kids. <laughs> and don't buy broccoli. Lots of broccoli. Yep. But you will see a lot less fruits and vegetables as well this time around because we have a lot of frozen fruits and vegetables that we also need to be using up. So that is why not as many, but I still have to have some of the fresh. <laughs> so I'll show you guys what we got. Home. okay so we are back and here is what all we got like I said next week I'm gonna try not to go so heavy on the trees for the kids <laughs> but it's the first we've seen all this stuff um, you know all the uh, spring stuff so sweet potatoes and yellow potatoes um, we need this for potato soup and corn chowder I'll share the menu that they are doing um, after I'm done showing you everything Bananas, broccoli, red delicious apples, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, some mushrooms, some lemons. Ronnie wanted to make lemonade with her meal. Celery, spinach, and some green beans, avocado, blueberries, and green onions. The back here, they had chocolate Lucky Charms. Um, with magic clover that turns the milk green. So I just thought the kids would like that. Then we also needed some toilet paper and paper towels along with some Ziploc bags. And Charles wanted to make sure I grabbed some just box mac and cheese because we didn't have any. And that is good if he has to step up for dinner one night and or for lunches. And then some chocolate instant pudding. Ash needs that for her chocolate lasagna. Assorted cookies. Charles likes to have the vanilla cookies um, just to kind of snack on at night. Then some Reese's peanut butter eggs because they're everybody's favorites. <laughs> they're just so good. It's something different about the eggs versus the Reese's cup. Let me know which one you prefer. We love the Reese's eggs. And M&M's which he is inching his way over to. That's for him and Theo. Theo loves to go in his office and steal all the M&M's. Then some cinnamon rolls. Jelly beans. That is actually Luke's favorite uh, spring candy. Some danishes. Theo loves those. Goldfish. Theo loves those. Puffed corn and sour cream and onion chips. That is what Luke loves. And the boys also love these marshmallow and stars. We're trying that. They love the Lucky Charms bars. And this is the Aldi brand. So we're going to try that. Some fruit by the foot, and then, oh, right here, some chocolate egg truffles. Those just looked good. And then I got three bags of frozen sweet corn. Kate needed that for her corn chowder. I got some stew meat for the Japanese um, curry that we're gonna have tonight. Three ground beef, that's for the dog. Then I also got some bagels and some cinnamon raisin bagels. Whipped topping, we already have one in the freezer, but Ash needs two for her chocolate lasagna, butter, and some uh, milk. That's it. Oh, and of course, their pop. That's it. That's everything. Now I'll show you or share with you our menu. Okay, so like I said, everybody's taking a day cooking, and I think we're going to stick with that for a while because I'm getting kind of burnt out in the kitchen, and I've got all these people that are ready to cook. So, um, Jake is going to take Saturdays, and he wanted to make a Japanese curry and some rice and some veggies. He did not choose any kind of dessert, which is fine. And um, Sunday is Charles, and he makes Sunday Sundays, and I think he's doing a Black Forest Sunday is what he decided. And he's going to grill up a bunch of meat, 
I'll make the side dishes. So I'll kind of still be cooking on his night, but he'll do all the grilling. And we have some frozen corn on the cobs in the freezer. I think we're going to throw those on the grill as well. And then Ash has Monday, and she picked potato soup and some homemade bread and some rice and a chocolate lasagna. Tuesday is my day, and that's going to be fish day because I'm trying to get us eat more fish around here. And the nights that the kids aren't making any kind of meat, I told Charles I would just want to make some fish those nights because we got a lot of fish to use up. Um, Wednesday is Brooke, and she wanted to make chili with rice, homemade bread. Um, she wants sparkling juice because we had that outside in our, um, just in our garage. And she wants to make edible cookie dough. That's one of her favorite desserts to make. <laughs> Thursday is Katie, and she is making corn chowder, bread, and rice, and she does not want to make a dessert. Friday is Ronnie, and she wants to make vegetable stew with garlic bread, rice, lemonade, homemade lemonade, and brownies. So that is what we are going to have this week. And those are the dinners that I will be sharing with you guys. And then as well, like I said, I will share with you what we are also doing for breakfast and lunch and just what we're eating through the day. So thank you guys so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow, and I'll show you what we're eating today. And we'll just see you later. Bye, everybody. Have a great day or night. Wherever you are.